Hi guys. I'm guessing that by this point we're all been a little too much of a couch potato, right? Too much online, uh, you know, watching, binge watching, or maybe you got your TV out there, or you're doing a lot of snoozing on the couch. So I thought I'd do a little something different today <clears throat> um, for when you've done too much binge watching or napping, right? So once you're done your little escape of binge watching or napping, before we get up, instead of just getting right up onto those feet and using your, uh, let's use our hands and feet to spell out something like good morning or good afternoon. But how about good morning? Because that has good letters in it. So we'll do G O, I'm a little dyslexic here, O D M. O, R, N, I, that was a dot, N, G. Maybe good morning, or maybe you could do your whole name, or something that lasts a little while so you get your feet going. Yeah, and then swing them off the side as you do, right? Bring yourself up. And before you get up, give those feet a little, a few bangs on the ground, right? Take a nice stretch, really reach up high. Notice where your feet are, your knees are over your ankles and notice where you are on the couch. If you're not forward enough, maybe sit back, slouch a little to get the butt forward on the couch. And leaning back forward again, right? Getting your shoulders more over your knees. <clears throat> Take another full stretch with a breath, reaching up, let it go, and then down into the floor to come up. Again, taking a moment to give your shoulders a roll because it's time for a good snack, right? A healthy snack, maybe. So, we might have our healthy snacks, like an apple, or an orange, or a banana, but I think we'll start with an orange today. But delay the gratification. Do a little exercising first, right? So, before you eat your orange, a little sit in your chair. Again, make sure you're forward on it. And just like we do with the ball sometimes in class, we're going to do a little moving with the orange, right? So we're going to do a figure eight underneath the leg, switch the hands, and take a nice stretch up. So underneath the other leg, grab it in the middle, stretch up. Yeah, another way, you can go behind the back, right? Reaching behind, or the opposite direction. Right? Or behind your head. And to make sure you do it for a pretty good amount of time, either put some music on or maybe exercise your voice a little, like singing a song like uh, You Are My Sunshine, maybe. So we'll start with it up high. We'll say, You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. How much I love you, so please don't take my sunshine away around the back. The other night, dear, when I lay sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. Go the other direction. I forget the words. <laughs> mm, I was mistaken or something like that. Mm -hmm -hmm. So I hung my head and I cried Go around your neck. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Otherwise, you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. Now, aren't you glad you did that? So you can eat your orange, which these little oranges, by the way, are great little finger dexterity. So, happy day and enjoy your orange and exercise. And don't be a couch potato all day anyway. See you soon.